All right, everyone, we're going to go over how to use the equation solver on a TI-84 calculator. Now, and this works for an 83 because this one will work the same way as an 83 will. Okay, this is the new version of the 84. This is the old version of the 84. And again, it works the same way as the 83. And I do have an 83 right here, so I can prove it to you, but it will be the same. Okay. Now, to do the equation solver for both calculators, it starts the same way. What you're going to do is press math, up, and enter. So you press math, up, and enter. So when I do this on both calculators, and I am going to zoom the camera in just a little bit here. When I press math, up, on both of them, one says numeric solver, one says solver. This is the new 84. It has to change things. The old 84 kept it plain and simple. Press enter on both. You notice they look different. Okay. Now, I haven't reset this calculator. It's been used quite a bit. But when you first come to the equation solver on this 84, it looks like this. And on this 84, it looks like this. So you have what the two different 84s look like. Okay. Now we want to set them up in pretty much the same way. What I want to do is get it so I can type my equations in y equals instead of doing my equations here. Because you would have to do some algebra to do the equations here with the old 84. You don't with the new 84. But I just want to make it so you're typing your equations in the same place all the time under y equals. So what we're going to do on the old 84 is I need to get this thing to say, and I'm going to move the new 84 off the side. So the old 84, we need to have this thing say y1 minus y2. Okay. Now to do this, it's not very hard. You're going to hit the alpha, you're going to hit vars. Sorry, not vars. Yes, vars. Over to y vars. So we hit vars. Arrow over to y vars. Press enter. Okay. Um, it's barely off screen. There we go. Press enter. And you get your y1 and y2. So I'm just going to type y1 minus vars over y vars. Press enter. Go down to 2. Press enter. So the equation solver is set up for this calculator. When I press enter now, it now says y1 minus y2 equals 0. There's some random x number there. Good. This one's set up. Okay. Now on the new 84, in E1, I just want to put Y1 in the box labeled E1. So I press VARS over to Y VARS, press enter twice. Just like I would on the old 84. Okay. In E2, I want to put Y2 here. So I go down to E2 by pressing the down button, press VARS over to Y VARS, press enter. Go down to Y2, press enter. Now when I press enter, it says almost the same thing. The two calculators say pretty close to the same thing. This doesn't have an X there because there's no equations in it. This has an X because there's equations in it. Okay. What I'm going to do now is go through how to actually use this. And we're going to solve some equations. The page that I'm using here, you can find in the video description. There's a link to it. A Google Doc they will have this on it. So let me set that aside. So we have a solve for x sheet. Okay. So first thing I'm going to do is press y equals. Now what you want to do is put one side of the equal sign in y1. So I'm going to put this over here in y1. I'm going to put this over here in y2. So y1 is going to be x squared minus x minus 6 in y2. I'm going to put 0. Everyone see what I've done there? Okay, let me pick the calculator up and show you. Okay, so there we have that. I'm doing the same thing on this 84. I'm going to press Y equals, clear that out because I don't need it. And I'm going to type X squared minus X minus 6, and down here I'm going to put 0. Okay, I'm setting these up so they work the same way, in other words. Okay. So now we got those typed in there. The next thing we're going to do is math, up, and enter on both. So I press math, up, and enter on this 84. And I'm going to go straight down here 
where it has the x equals. And you notice it has the x equals this time. This one, I press math, up, and enter. And I've got the same screen. And if you look at them, they look pretty much the same. In fact, if I put zero on this one, now these two look exactly the same. Let's get them where we can see them both. Slightly different, but pretty much the same. Okay, so from here it works the same way for both. Now the solver works off a of guess, so I have to feed it something. This is an x squared, so I'm going to end up with two x's for an answer. Okay, and this is like playing high and low on prices, right? I'm going to make a guess. So I'm going to hit 100, and then I hit alpha enter. And we're hitting alpha enter because right above enter in green it says solve, and the alpha button is green. Okay, and when I do that, it tells me x equals 3. So I'm going to put 3 right here for x. If I do the same thing on this one, I hit 100, hit alpha enter, it does the same thing, gives me 3, and it takes about the same amount of time. So these two calculators are pretty equal. Okay, now what the solver is doing, and I'm going to go ahead and put 50 in here on this one, and hit alpha enter, it tells me 3. I put 5 in here, hit alpha enter, it tells me 3. What the calculator is doing is it's taking whatever you start with, whatever x value, and finding the closest solution to it. So if I start with 100, the closest solution is 3. I start with 50, it's 3. 5, it's 3. Okay? So my next answer has to be below 5. So this time what I'm going to do is I'm going to guess with negative 100. Okay? And you can see I hit negative 100 in there. I hit alpha, enter, and this time it tells me negative 2. There's a little bit of rounding in there. Same thing on this one. If I pick it up and I type in, say, negative 10, hit alpha, enter, it tells me negative 2. Okay? And you're wondering about the decimals here. Negative 10, alpha, enter, and it tells me negative 2. Okay? The two calculators give the same answer doing the same thing. So the solver isn't that hard to use, and you can use it in place of factoring. So let's go on to this next one right here. Okay, so I'm going to press Y equals. Now on this one, it's going to get typed a little bit differently. I'm going to type, clear that. I'm going to hit 4. The house top button, which is right there. And then I can type in the 2X minus 3 directly. And if you haven't figured it out yet, that's an X button. I'm going to go to, down to Y2 and type 2 raised to the X. Okay, I'm a little bit far away because I want you to see the screen. But notice I have each side of the equal sign typed in there, and it looks like it does on the paper. Okay, now the old 84 isn't that lucky, so I press Y equals, I clear those. Up here I'm going to type 4 raised to the... Now you have to type parentheses and type the 2X, well, darn it. I screwed up. Y equals. I have to type the 2x minus 3 in there and close parentheses. Same thing down here. You're typing the same keystrokes. They just look different on the two calculators. Okay? And you have to put parentheses in this one that you don't there. Hit math up, enter to get me to the solver. On this one, I hit math up, enter to get me to the solver. But this one, I have to press down to the x. I don't here. So if I hit alpha enter on that negative 2, what's going to happen? It tells me negative 431. If I hit 5, alpha enter on this one, it tells me 2. What is going on here? Well, the correct answer is 2 if you do the algebra on it. And if I type negative 10 in here and hit alpha enter, I'm going to get eight equally bad number. And if you scroll over on it, you know, this is what you get. What is happening is we have a bad guess. These exponential functions go to zero on one side of the origin pretty quickly. So they're both basically zero. Although well, they're, they're not completely zero, so the calculators are misreading it. You have to be careful with your guesses. Now, your test is multiple choice. Great. Pick one of the answers, type it in there, hit alpha, enter. If it's not, five is usually a good number to work on everything. So when I'm making my guesses, I usually do five, alpha, enter. And that is going to give the right answer almost every time. Now, will this work for a log? The answer is yes. So I press Y equals, clear out Y1 and Y2. 
okay? In Y1, I'm going to type log of x, 2x plus 4, so I hit log 2x plus 4, okay? Just like it is on the paper, go down and I type 2, okay? On this one, I'm doing the same thing. I press Y equals, I clear that, I type log 2x plus 4, close parenthesis, go down here and I'm going to hit clear and type 2. So the two calculators look the same again. Everyone see them? We're going to hit math up enter. This time I'm going to hit 5 and alpha enter on this one. And it gives me 47.99, so hopefully the answer is 48. Let's see if the mint green, 84 agrees. Math up enter. Go straight to the X. I'm going to hit 5, alpha enter. And it agrees it's 48. Okay, sometimes you have to round the solver just a little bit to get a good answer. But that's how you use the solver and the calculator. I hope someone finds this and finds this useful. Again, the 83 is going to behave just like this one. There won't be any difference in how the screen looks. This, the calculator looks different. But all the operations, all the actions, all the typing is exactly the same as this one. Okay, so if you have an 83, don't panic on me. All right, hope you all enjoyed. I will come back later with something else.